Hi, uh, I am Mohammed Maktoumi, and in this first tutorial, I will tell you how to write the circuit file for LTS files and do the simulation. So you you have to note that there are two ways to enter your circuit description in SPICE, or uh, especially LTS SPICE. One is to have this kind of symbols of various elements and you just drag and drop them here in the systematic window and connect them through that so you have entered your circuit and other way is to use English text something like this to describe your circuit for example this line says that okay there is a resistor R1 which is which is connected between node 1 and 2 and its value is 3k so this type of circuit file is called basically netlist or a spice deck and this type of description is known as schematic capture. In this tutorial I will tell you how to write a spice netlist. So I will be writing this is a very simple example of a voltage divider. So I will write a spice netlist for this uh, uh, circuit itself. So you see here there are three sources, three elements. One is this voltage source V1 of value 10 volt and this resistor R1 this resistor R2. And this node is common which is ground. So the first step in writing circuit file is to know, name various nodes. So between these two elements there is a junction and this junction is basically a node. So I will name it as node 1. <coughs> Similarly this is I am calling this node as node 2. By default, the common node is always or ground node is always zero. You cannot name this node, for example, zero. If you name it zero, then it's going to be treated as a ground. Okay? So this is what you have to uh, remember. Now, in order to write circuit file for this, I will just grab Notepad or any other editor, text editor that you have, and then the first step, the first line, is always a comment line. So I'm making a comment voltage divider and then I have a voltage source so name of voltage source will always start with letter V I am calling it V1 you can call it Vx, V, Vs or whatever so there is a voltage source and then comes the positive node so it is 1 and then the negative node so it is 0 so there is a voltage source V1 connected between node 1 and 0 and its value is 10 volt. So I am writing 10 here. By default, the unit is V, and this voltage is a DC voltage source. So again, by default, it, it will be treated as DC voltage source. I will come to AC voltage source later when we deal with the frequency domain analysis. And now enter. And there is a resistor R1. Name of every resistor will start with letter R, so you can call your register as RA, RB, or R1, R2, so on. And it is connected between node and 1 and node 2. And note that there is no polarity for uh, a resistor-like element. No? It's a bilateral, so you can write 2 and 1. But for voltage, they, they have polarity. So I am writing it as 1 and 0. This means that the first node is always positive. Okay and its value is 3k 3k basically means uh, 3000 ohm so again I can write OHM for ohm by, by default the unit of resistor is ohm so I am not writing it in, in fact I, I don't I am a lazy person so I don't basically write units if you want you can type it in here but I won't do that and then there is a resistor R2 which is between node 2 and 0 and it, its value is 1k, 1 kilo ohm again. And this is how I can, this is the only three elements in my circuit. So this is how we can describe uh, a circuit in, 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 in for simulation in LTS files. And uh, let us first say that then we will do the next in the second tutorial. So you can do it by save as desktop I have made a folder LTS spice summer on my desktop and should be somewhere no I don't have it so let me first go here and let me do folder new folder and let me write its name as LTS 
something like or whatever you wish. Actually, it is always a good practice to whenever you want to start a new design or all your design should be basically in your folder that you are well aware of. I mean, if you are, you know, you just shouldn't save it anywhere uh, in, in, a, in a random manner. You should always uh, have a folder uh, which you have created and then you save, save all your design in that folder. So let me save it, file, save it, save as. And that folder was into a single. There you go. Summer. Name should be very relevant. I am writing again bolt underscore div. So I know that I have something bolt divided here. You can, I mean, I have seen beginners to uh, name their circuit file as their own name. So that's uh, uh, well. And uh, dot sp. So every circuit file that you save for LTS file should have this extension dot sp. And this should be changed to all files. If you are not sending it to all files, then this, this will be saved with extension .txt. So it is very important in step to name every circuit file. And the extension should be .sp, and all files this should be changed for save as type to all files. Some other files like HS files also accept this .sp, and other files like PS files will have this as .cir, but for MTS files, all these th all these things will do. But I recommend you to type in it as .sp. So save, and this way I have a circuit file here, voltage underscore div. Okay. So thanks. In the next tutorial, how I will tell you how to perform. Uh, the operating point analysis of this simple voltage divider circuit.